If you want to know how to complete the new Fishy Punch card, go check out the rest of the video. This week we had a Fortnite update, version 14.20. In this update they added a new punch card. Let me show you everything you need to know in order to complete it. The punch card is called Fishy. You need to complete your fishing collection. It sounds easy, but in order to complete it you need to do some serious fishing. There are 40 different fish in your collection book. If you're in a match and go to the map you can switch to the fishing book page. Once you caught a fish, it will show up there and the picture will become visible. If you haven't caught it so far, you see the question marks or a shadows version. But there's more, some fish can only be caught at certain locations, with a pro rod or only at night. This information shows up on the right side of the screen. You can go to public matches but the chances someone's interrupting your fishing session are pretty big. So I recommend you go to Battle Lab. The only difference is that you won't get the XP for catching a fish in Battle Lab. But you do receive the XP once you've completed the punch card. Let me show you all different fish while I'm explaining how to catch some of them. Anyways, let's focus on some specific catch requirements. The first one is using a pro fishing rod. It's the blue version of the normal rod. You can be lucky finding it in one of the wooden barrels, but you can also upgrade it at one of the upgrade benches. You only need 100 of each material to get it done. For 8 different fish you need a pro rod to catch it, but I recommend to always use this while fishing. These are all the fish that require a pro rod. The next requirement is the time of the day. In total there are 4 different fish you can only catch at night. Here's a list of all of them. If you're playing a public match you need to wait for the right moment to start fishing. But if you use Battle Lab, go to settings and use night before you start the game. Now you don't have to wait till it gets dark in order to catch some of the fish in your book. For the other fish it doesn't matter what time of day it is, so you can catch them all during night time. And the last one is the location. I recommend using the fishing holes because you have bigger odds to catch fish instead of ammo or materials. But even in the open water you are able to catch the bigger fish. And of course you need to catch 5 different small fry. They can only be caught in open water and not in the fishing holes. But some fish can only be found at certain locations, like the purple slurp fish. In the book it says found in mountainous areas, so you need to go to the south side of the map. I recommend going to Camp Cod because there are a lot of fishing spots and it still counts as the right area. In total you need to catch 4 different fish in the area, so here's a list of all of them. The next location is coastal areas, just go to the edge of the map and start fishing. I went all the way to the north side between Lockie's Lighthouse and Craggy Cliffs. There's an island with a lot of fishing holes. Just grab a boat and go from spot to spot. There are some sharks there, so make sure you bring a weapon with you. It's very annoying when you randomly start a shark ride because he took the bait. In total there are 7 different fish you need to catch in this area, so here's a list of all of them. And if you go to slurpy swamps you will be able to catch 5 different fish. So they are only swimming in the swamps and you won't be able to catch them anywhere else. Slurpy has a lot of fishing rod spawns and even more fishing holes to catch them. Good luck catching the white slurp fish. In my opinion, it looks a bit, uh, weird. Anyways, let's move on to the next location, the forest area. I know for sure that the river from the authority towards slurpy swamps works. It flows right through weeping woods. But maybe there will be some other locations with enough trees that count as well. I needed multiple games to catch all the forest fish. Because once the fishing spots are gone, you need to restart the game in order to reset the spots. The red and green thermal fish was the last one I needed to complete the punch card. And I even got it in the little pool in the middle of Weeping Woods. In total you need to catch 5 different fish in the forest area. These are all the names and numbers. It's pretty much compared to the low amount of spots in the area. And now, last but not least, the two hardest fish to catch. Number 39 and 40. The Vendetta Flopper and the Midas Flopper. The Vendetta Flopper can be found anywhere. All you need is a pro fishing rod for it and a lot of luck. And according to the fishing book you can find the Midas Flopper anywhere without needing a pro fishing rod. But I've been told you do need the pro rod and you can only catch it around the authority. I can't 100% confirm it but I do think that's right because I only found it there and not in one of the other areas. So if number 4 is all you need, get your pro rod and clear the authority waters. These are all the fish. I'll put a full list of the names in the description if you want to look them up. Have fun fishing and completing the punch card in order to get 15k XP. So leave a like if this video is useful, subscribe to my channel, make sure you turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video. My goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers so maybe you can help me out. My name is Rutger K, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Honey.